Hey, squirrel bait. I hope you're having a good day. So, when we left off, we're reading the Book of Enoch again. <laughs> Excuse me. When we left off in chapter 10, God spoke. Said, go tell Noah that there's a big flood coming. And that he doled out punishment. He ascribed all sin to Azazel, the guy that and like taught people warcraft and makeup and basically idolatry, like jewelry and hair dye. I'm, I'm thinking coloring tinctures. It might be applying to clothes. But when I think of coloring tinctures, I think of, like, hair dye. But he ended it all, after his big fire and brimstone speech, he ended it all with, a, with like, a promise of prosperity, which I thought was kind of nice. But chapter 11 is real short here, so I'm, I'm going to read 11 and 12 together. So, chapter 11 begins... And in those days I will open the store chambers of blessing which are in the heavens, so as to send them down on the earth over the work and labor of the children of men. And truth and peace will be associated together throughout all the days of the world and throughout all the generations of men. So, after all this fire and brimstone in chapter 10, and the promise of a blessing... Like, he, he's continuing his promise of a blessing here in chapter 11. I mean, it's, it's short and it's sweet. That's it. It's just those two verses. But it's nice. So, then he goes on in chapter 12. Before these things, Enoch was hidden, and no one of the children of men knew where he was hidden and where he dwelt, and what had become of him. So just saying Enoch's a missing person at this time. And his activities had to do with the watchers, and his days were with the holy ones. And I, Enoch, was blessing the Lord of majesty and the king of the ages. And the watchers called me Enoch the scribe, and said to me, Enoch, you scribe of righteousness, go declare to the watchers of the heavens who have left the high heaven, the holy perpetual place, and have defiled themselves with women, and have done as the children of earth do, and have taken wives to themselves. You have worked great destruction on the earth, and you will have no peace nor forgiveness of sin. And insomuch as they delight themselves in their children, they will see the murder of their beloved ones, and they will lament over the destruction of their children, and will make supplication continuously, but you will not obtain mercy and peace. So, Enoch, you scribe of righteousness, go declare to the watchers. So, so basically, Enoch was. Hang on, let's let's do some backpedaling here. So, the high mountain, in chapter 1, it says that Enoch saw a vision. A righteous man whose eyes were opened by God saw the vision of the Holy One in heavens. And then here in chapter 12, it's saying that Enoch was hidden. So, Nobody knew where Enoch went. He just disappeared one day, and nobody had a clue where, but apparently he had been following around these angels, the Watchers, and it, and his activities had to do with the Watchers. So he was just following them around and writing down everything he saw. I mean, that's... You gotta have a hobby. I bet it was pretty interesting. But 
They're telling him. And the watchers called me, Enoch the scribe, and said to me, like, Enoch, you, you done been watching, you done, you've been watching us, you've been writing everything down, you know what's up. Go and tell these reprobates, what they call them in chapter 10 here, that they done screwed up. And so, I'm assuming... Chapter 13 is going to be Enoch going and giving them all the message, I suppose, that this, that this judgment's coming to them. But we'll find out in chapter 13, I suppose. So, Squirrel Bait, I want you to know that I'm proud of you and that I love you and that I hope that you're having a wonderful day. And we'll see you later. Don't, don't work too hard.